Okay, so the one plus five T has a six point zero inch then iPhone hex has a five point eight zero inch screen. Oh, that's good because the one plus five has a larger screen and is bezel-less. Both phones are actually bezel-less, but the iPhone X is much more bezel-less than the iPhone and the OnePlus 5T. The screen resolution of the OnePlus 5T is 1080 times 260 pixels, while the iPhone X is 1125 to 2436 pixels, which is actually good because the iPhone X has better pixels. The screen resolution of the iPhone X is more than the screen resolution of the OnePlus 5. Then, okay, in terms of storage, the OnePlus 5 has 64 gigabytes. Of of ROM, which is up to one two five, because there are different kind of I am one plus five. There is the sixty four gigabyte, there's the one twenty eight gigabyte. I think one twenty eight is the highest. But the iPhone Hex has sixty four, one twenty eight, and two hundred fifty six gigabytes. So what's next in the term of processor? Well, the one plus five has a two point four gigahertz octa core, while the iPhone Hex has an extra core. But to be honest with you, the, the OnePlus 5T has more processors than it. So the next one we're looking at now is the is time of RAM. Okay, the OnePlus 5T has 6 gig RAM, which is good for a normal phone. Okay, yeah, uh, one plus six gig RAM, which is also there's also another type that is eight gig RAM of the OnePlus 5T, which is good. The maximum RAM is eight gig RAM, while the iPhone heads the maximum is 3 gig RAM. I don't know why iPhone hasn't really boosted the RAM since, but I, I've heard that the processor actually makes up for it because the processor that the iPhone X has is actually very strong. So I'll be posting now a video on the speed test so you can completely. I'll be posting a comparison video on the speed test right now. I think this is going to be a really powerful contender and you guys will actually be very surprised with the results. So I started a high scores sheet and as you can see OnePlus actually made a name for itself with the fastest second round as they always come stocked with a ton of RAM. Anyways, I do have on the left the OnePlus 5T, on the right the iPhone 10, and we are ready to begin our real world comparison where we'll be running apps. You'll basically be running on a daily basis with all apps cleared in the app switcher and we're going to go ahead and start with Snapchat. So loading one actually was quicker on the OnePlus 5T. I actually commend OnePlus for shortening those animations to almost nothing on Oxygen OS, something you don't really see much of nowadays, especially on Android phones. On the iPhone, the animations in comparison seem long out and drawn out, but it felt natural until I started using the OnePlus 5T. Anyways, because of that shortened animation, it's keeping up very well with the iPhone 10, where uh, most Android phones start falling back. But recently, most Android phones have been keeping up with iPhone pretty well, the Galaxy Note 8, the Pixel 2. I feel like in the next couple of years, they might even start overtaking Apple if Qualcomm can catch up on the Snapdragon side. The 835 has just been recycled and recycled through every smartphone nowadays, so there isn't really too much competition here. But even having said that, the OnePlus 5T begins pulling forward here. It's already two apps ahead, while the iPhone 10 is still loading Asphalt 8. For the extreme power user that just loads one application after another, the OnePlus 5T seems to handle that better than the iPhone 10. I noticed the iPhone 10 screen went dim for whatever reason. I kept having this bug that the more applications I opened, my screen would dim once in a while. It's the strangest thing, and I couldn't make or raise the brightness above 50%. It was really annoying. Anyways, at this point, the OnePlus 5T is powering through all of those web-based apps. It has incredibly fast Wi-Fi, I noticed, while using the application, faster than the iPhones by far. So while that one is still loading Grand Theft Auto, this one is finishing the test and already onto the 1 minute and 30 seconds 4K video, which I tend to use in every single video, so nothing special here. This is the one limiting thing about the Snapdragon 835. It doesn't process 4K video very well, but then again, how often are you editing 4K video on your phone? 6,645 multi, 1960 single core, which is actually something pretty common with any device using the Snapdragon 835. So good scores here overall, pretty surprising. Mul camera, well, which is actually, which has two, two cameras, which has two cameras at the back which is actually good in low light and all condition for the budget phone, which is like $500. And the iPhone X is 12 megapixels. But in terms of camera, the iPhone X 
slightly beats the OnePlus 5T. It actually beats it, but not that much. Because when you look at the price of each phone, you'll be like, wow, like, what the fuck? So, what's next is the front camera. The OnePlus 5T has a 16 megapixel camera, while the, while the iPhone Hex has a 7 megapixel camera. Well, that's good, good. Then, in terms of security, the iPhone, the OnePlus 5T also has Face ID, Face face id while the um, iphone x also has the face id but if you look at it in two perspectives the one plus five face unlock is actually faster than the iphone x but in terms of security i'll actually tell you that the iphone x is better than the one plus five because the iphone x has detailed camera and the rest like like has detailed sensors which will work very well and which you scan the face Oh, and you can we've tested the iPhone the X with pictures like let's say you have a picture of me but it doesn't unlock the phone but the one plus five the two doesn't unlock the phone but that the one the iPhone X has different infrared and different scanners that will actually make it much secure much more secure <coughs> by the OS yeah the the one plus five T is running on Android seven point one one while the while the iPhone X is running on iOS 11. Then, okay, each phone always gets an update to so, like it's take long before this update and not be right. Right now, the OnePlus 5T has the update for Android 8.1. The iPhone X has the update for iOS 11. Okay, it's, it's iOS 11 on the norms. What the battery capacity? The OnePlus 5T has 330 milliampere battery, while the iPhone X has a 2000 and 2760 megapixel ca um, battery capacity. But if you look at the two of them in both cases, the OnePlus 5T has a very good flash charge, which lasts, which charges very fast. I'll show you the video of the battery test. OnePlus 5T is very fast in charging. Like the Super SAF style fast charging speed test, this time between the OnePlus 5T, the iPhone 10, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now the iPhone 10 does have a smaller battery compared to the 5T and the Note 8, but we are going to be doing things Super SAF style, so as well as the percentage, we'll also be looking at the total MA charged. Now the OnePlus 5T as well as the Note 8 do come with fast chargers out of the box, but for the iPhone 10, unfortunately you do have to buy the fast charger separately, and this costs an additional 74 pounds, something to bear in mind. So all three devices have been charged down to 1%, We've switched on flight mode and switched off things like Bluetooth and location. This way outside interference is to a minimum and we've got this timer here at the top and we'll be checking back every 15 minutes or so. So after the first 15 minutes, the 5T is on 30%, the iPhone 10 on 25% and the Note 8 on 19%. Looking at the total MA8 charge, the iPhone 10 and the Note 8 are not too far apart but the OnePlus 5T has already taken quite a big lead. After 30 minutes, the OnePlus 5T is on 59%, the iPhone 10 on 50% and the Note 8 on 36%. The OnePlus 5T in a very comfortable lead and the iPhone 10 increasing that gap between it and the Note 8. After 45 minutes, the 5T is on 82%, the iPhone 10 on 71% and the Note 8 on 53%. And after 1 hour, 93% on the 5T, 82% on the iPhone 10, and 71% on the Note 8. However, the Note 8 has now overtaken the iPhone 10 in terms of total MA charged. So technically, it is in second place right now. After an hour and 10 minutes, the 5T is on 97%, 88% on the iPhone 10, and the Note 8 is on 83%, but once again, it is leading the iPhone 10 in terms of total MA charged. After an hour and 15 minutes, the OnePlus 5T almost completed at 98%, 91% for the iPhone 10, and 87% on the Note 8. And roughly after about 1 hour and 19 minutes, the OnePlus 5T has completed charging the full 3300mAh. The iPhone 10 is on 93% and the Note 8 is on 90% and is now quite a bit ahead compared to the iPhone 10 in terms of total M8 charged. After an hour and 30 minutes, 96% for the iPhone 10 and 95% for the Note 8. One hour and 40 minutes later, 97% on the iPhone 10 and the Note 8 almost completed at 99%. After an hour and 45 minutes, the Note 8 has fully completed and we've got 98% on the iPhone 10 at this point. After an hour and 50 minutes, 
and the iPhone 10 completes charging after roughly about 1 hour and 55 minutes. So there we have it guys, the Super SAF style battery charging speed test between the OnePlus 5T, the iPhone 10, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Dash charging still seems to be the fastest charging method out there, quite a bit faster compared to the other two, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 still coming in at quite a respectable time, and with the iPhone 10, although it had a great start, it did slow down towards the end. I've mentioned this before, but this may be to help the battery in the long term. But in this test, the iPhone 10 does come last, even though it had the smallest battery out of these three. What did you think of the results? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button. Like I forgot to mention, OnePlus 5T is about $500, while the iPhone X is about $1,000 for the 64GB model. And that's all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.